Hey YouTube, uh, this is Gengar Level X11, and this is my friend <laughs> Justin, Hi. also known as Hi Sebustin on YouTube. Check him out. Um, I'm. This is going to be a Red Shark tutorial today, and uh, so I'm going to get started. Uh, first off, you're going to need to download Hamachi and Red Shark, which is um, I've already told you how to do that in a previous video. Um, there will be a link to it right here or in the sidebar or whatever. But all right, I'm gonna go ahead and start. Uh, you gotta open Hamachi. I click on the person's name. Nah, bro. You chat him up. Be like, hey man, how about a game? And then so this is this is Hamachi, and his name is Cobra on <laughs> Hamachi, and he just chatted me, so it shows up down here. Hey man, how about a game? So, and uh, Sebastian and Gengar level X are the same person. Confused. Yeah. And he's gonna be playing the role of. Are you a no? Okay. I'm, I'm gonna play player B. So, those are our roles. All right. So, um, so he wants to play a game. So I go and I open up Red Shark, and um, just back here. I'll say, I'll host. So, uh, for me to host, he's going to right-click on my name and something like this. And he's going to right-click copy address. And so that copies the IP address of the person. So once Red Shark opens up, you go to game, new game. And for him, he's going to click guest over here and choose his deck or whatever. And he's going to go to preferences. And the host IP right here you would delete it and paste in your opponent's IP address, but mine's already in there since I'm hosting. And okay, so, so the link. you save and close that, sure. Um, so I'm gonna click host since I'm hosting. And for the host, you have to put your host IP in there. So you have to copy your own IP address into there. And this is already his yeah. IP address already right in here. Yeah, because we played before, so hit my IP address is already in his. So the the host IP has to be in the host and the guest preferences. So I don't worry about deck day or anything. I just change deck to whatever I want. I want to play Flygon. All right. So um, back to Hamachi, our little chat. I'm gonna say, click start. <laughs> Slick start. <laughs> <laughs> click click start. And we're both gonna click start. And it's going to connect us. See, this is me up here, player A. Player B, he's down here. It's going to look something like this. <clears throat> so, you take... Uh, okay, I don't have any basics, which is good because I kind of need to show this. I don't have any basics. So you go up to either whichever player you are, player A or player B. I'm player A. You go down to restart, no basics, down at the bottom. Um, it'll let your opponent view your hand just to make sure you didn't have any basics, which I didn't. So he'll close that, and I. I don't see either, so I'm gonna restart my basics off of that. All right, so he had to restart. Uh, Mulligan, no basics, no basics here. Yep. So close. Game restarts. To play, um, in the beginning, you right-click on the card and you play it face <laughs> down for what you want to start with. This is the wrong deck. Really? Oh well, just play it. <laughs> I don't even think this is it. All right, but uh, I'll play another card face down, and you just kind of arrange them. It's just like playing normal cards. And then there's a little button down here, H or T, or you can type it in. But I mean, this is a lot faster. So I click H or T, which is heads or tails. And then I respond with H or heads. So he calls he calls heads. So there's a little yellow coin right here next to the deck. You click it, it flips. The coin flip was tails, so I'm going to go first. Uh, you right click on the Pokemon, click flip. <laughs> hey, Rayquaza, man. These buttons over here are how you start and end your turn. You can hover your mouse over any card to read what it does. It tells you poke bodies, colors, and everything. So, yeah, you hover over, it tells you everything. You can even click on it, and it shows up over here, all the different things about it. And so, um, so it's my turn. I'll click start turn. 
and I'm going to attach a psychic energy. You just click, left click, drag to attach energies, and now you see Ghastly has psychic energy. This is how you attack, supposedly. I mean, this isn't really attack, but you click on the card you want that your active Pokemon. You click on the attack. It shows up down here in the chat box, and you click enter. So I use Spirit Tomb Darkness Grace. You can read what it does. And um, I'm going to end here, and we're going to have to have a part two. All right.